Hi there, thanks for joining me again. Back on the old coffee van, this is the Peugeot J9. Them wheels, don't they look lovely now? But they didn't before, they were silver. Um, just a bit horrible, not quite in fitting with what we wanted. The other van had got the white wheels on it. So let's whip these steelies off. We're gonna paint them white, so they look like that. What do you reckon? So got the wheels off, first thing we're gonna do is get a bit of Scotch Bright on them. The paint on these is, is not too old, it's quite fresh. Um, which is a nice base coat, it will save me undercoating them and um, we've just got the scotch bright like I say to rub that down and just roughen it up a little bit, give the paint something to stick to just blow them off with the airline, get the dust out so once we've got the dust away, next thing we've got to do is just give them a wipe down with a bit of panel wipe just to get rid of any grease, if there's any grease or any, any muck that's sort of uh, going to contaminate the paint uh, if there's something there we can't see so we'll get some of this, uh, so the panel wipe on it, put it onto a rag and just wipe it over. Uh, it just clears any uh, any grease away that we don't want. Last thing you want to do is, or silicon, silicon's always a real pain. If you've got a little bit of silicon on there that you can't see, it just makes the paint go all ringy and horrible. Not going to take the tyres off, I'm leaving them on there. I'm going to mask the wheels, or what I'm going to say, mask the tyres so we don't get any paint on them. Um, but we don't uh, we don't need to take the tyres off these for this job. Just make sure we get into all those little nooks and crannies. Get any grease that might be around those wheel nooks where the wheels sort of sit in there. Masking paper hanging up. We'll trim some of that down and cover the wheels. Drafted in me uh, faithful assistant. Look, she's great with a pair of scissors. Cut some nice circles out. And we'll get the tape on there. Just taping right into the edges, all the way around. And just uh, yeah, put the paper on. Run my fingers round the paper so we get a little imprint. Cut round the imprint and tape the tape them down. Didn't take too long, look. Right, let's have a look in the paint cupboard and see what we've got in here. Oh, 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 oh. we've got all sorts of stuff in there. But what I'm looking for is white. Ah, there we go. Look, look at the date on it though. March the tenth. 2008 but this is as good as gold still nice and sloshy in there we'll mix that up these are my markings on my cups that i use so i like these uh, plastic cups um and you can see on there you can see on them a marking so paint i usually fill to that sort of mark there thinners I'll go to that mark and then hardener on the top. If I want it to go off quicker, then I just add more hardener and less thinners. Hardener comes in these tins here. This goes off pretty quick though in the tins. So these only last about six months once it's been opened. If you look it and it'll go hard inside the, the tub. But um, yeah, that one's pretty good still. That's quite new. Yeah. Up top there, we've got the beautiful Sata spray gun. Absolutely amazing runs at 40 psi let's mix it up and get it on the car first thing we're gonna do is just um waft a bit of air now if i just pull the trigger slightly you get just air and no paint coming out so i just go over these make sure the paper's stuck down and make sure we've got no dust that's just dropped on there and then we can go and um, just put a very very thin little waft of paint on just to give it something to stick to i'll just whiz out oh there's a little bit coming up look. let's just go over this again just yeah, a little dusting, a little dusting on all the wheels, and then we can uh, get some thicker paint on there. And just try and get it round all the bits you can't see. Wheels are a real pain to paint because you look at it from one angle and they look fine. You look at it from another angle and you can see patches that you've missed. So um, ideally, if I've got a spinner, you could drop the wheel onto a spinning, a spinning rotating hub kind of thing and just spin it round and, and you get everything. But uh, as it as it is at the minute, I'm doing them on the floor, <laughs> on a bit of bit of old sheet. Look, <laughs> I can see that masking tape wafting about. I hope it don't come up and get paint all of my tyres. <laughs> but yeah, just building it up really, really slowly. A nice light dusting. All just keep going over it nice and gently. A little dusting. Don't want to get too mad. It's a nice warm day as well, so uh, the temperature's nice. It's around about 20 degrees, which is perfect for painting. Absolutely perfect temperature. So I won't need to get my heaters on this or, or anything. I can just uh, gently waft it on. There we go. Got a little coating on that one there. 
Oh, he's not happy still. He wants to do a bit more around here. Like I say, you keep moving around and you see a patchy bit. Yeah. There we go. Let's move on to the next one. I'll just do the same thing again. Dust it around and just keep building it up. And I should go over these a couple of times, two or three times. Just keep building it up. That first one now will be going off already. It'll be uh, starting to go tacky. So I can come back to it in a minute and, uh, and go over it again. And especially when I go around and I see bits that I've missed. I just keep, keep building it up like I say. Let's uh, let's speed this up a little bit. This paint's not going on too bad considering it's nearly 15 years old, is it? <laughs> it is unbelievable, the uh, the 2K paint. Mix it up with a bit of thinners and a uh, bit of hardener and away you go. These are nice because they come in the old metal tins. If you get them in the plastic tubs, it just doesn't last, it goes off. So I love paint in metal tins, it lasts forever. I think we're about there with that. We've almost got it. Just a couple of little wafts. Look at the shine as well. Got a really nice finish on it. This is off an old Seat van. I did a um, did some bodywork and a, a few a few repairs on an old Seat van that I bought. And this was the paint from that. And it's a really nice white. It's just off white. It's it's creamy, isn't it? They look great. Pleased with that. So once this paints gone off not totally it's still a bit tacky I don't want to let it go completely before I remove this uh, masking tape if you let it go off all the way there's sometimes a chance when you peel it off you can actually peel the paint away as well so just let it go so it's uh, nice and tacky it's, it's gone off quite well but not fully and then I can just peel this paper away try not to touch the wheels as we remove it and uh, yes Oh, that looks not. I'm really pleased with that. That looks an absolute peach. And we'll do the same with all these others. We'll just peel them off. Gently as we go. Let's get this going on. Oh, I've never seen it work so quick. Oh, I'm really pleased with them. They look a million dollars. Yeah, they really do. I'm uh, more than happy. We'll just get that little bit of paper out from under there and then uh, pop the, I've put a bit of masking tape around the valves so we could just peel that off. Lovely. Well, there we go. We'll leave them out in the sun to bake for a bit. Get them nice and hard and then uh, we can stick them back on the van. Now these wheels are a little bit unique in the fact that they're a 19 by 400 size which is a metric size and yet we're using um, imperial size tyres. So the tyres we've got fitted on this one are the 215 65R16s. So they're a 16 inch, 16 inch tyre on our imperial rim. So the old original tyres, you can't get hold of them anymore, they're really really difficult to find. So this is a great fit. They do go on the rim nicely, um, but we have to use inner tubes in them. That's the only difference. What do you reckon? I think it really makes the wheels pop and just gives it that really classic look.